Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit a forex chart really quickly so that you can make notes on it and use it for your trading journal. Okay, so I'm going to be using Photoshop and it's a pretty expensive program so um, you might not want to get it but there are other options such as GIMP or even Photoshop or Adobe um, Photoshop Effects uh, that's much cheaper than a full-blown Photoshop but all the concepts are the same so uh, let's get into it real quick. First of all, you probably want to crop your picture. So you're going to go to the crop tool here. You're going to get a crosshair. And you can just click and drag over the part that you want to include. So let's say that we just want this part of the chart. Then we can just go to image and then crop. And then now we'll just have that part of the chart. Now let's say that we want to add some arrows to indicate where we entered. So in Photoshop, you can do it here with the line tool. And then when you pull down the option box at the top here, it'll give you a choice of putting the arrowhead at the start of the line or at the end. I use it at the end. You can change the weight or the size of the arrow. Uh, three is a good size. So then you just click and drag. And then now you have an arrow here. And that gets filled in with the color that you um, you choose here in the box. You can make that red if you want to. And then the, the last thing you probably want to do is add some words. So you just click on the text tool and you can say like exit here and just move that around. And that's all there is to it. Uh, on the right hand side there are some there are the layers or the elements in the picture and if if something's not showing up for some reason, it's usually because the, la the layer is underneath another layer. So for example, the chart layer is here, so everything is on top of that. But if you moved the text under that layer, like this, it would disappear. So you would have to move it back up above the chart in order for it to appear. Um, and then in, in under File, you can go to Save for Web Devices. And what that does is it optimizes the picture for um, for internet for the internet, so that it's a smaller picture, um, pretty much a similar quality, but it just loads faster. So you can go to save for web devices. I use JPEG High. Um, just save, and then I'll save it to you wherever you want. So I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.